Uh, he's hard to miss, right, with that big white blaze on his face. Lots of chrome around the ankles as well. Scott Ray, very familiar with uh, Stonebridge Scout, uh, dating back 12, 13 years. Began his career right here at the raceway. His first career start was a winning one over a good track, 201 and 2. Scott Ray was in the sulky for his first career win, May 6th, 2011. And here he is now at age 15. Sad to see he couldn't get that final career start in on New Year's Eve. We were uh, forced to cancel. But here he is. He is the Blue Collar Warrior, folks. Raced a lot of claiming races over the years, but still retires for owner Gladys McCarty. Trained by Robert Mawson over the last year or so. Before that, it was Andy Hardy. Uh, local drivers, Scott Ray, Lauren House, were behind uh, this animal for uh, many of his starts here in London, many of his victories as well. So the connections of Stonebridge Scout are getting together here. And uh, he will get the proper send-off. Yes, indeed. A uh, beautiful uh, souvenir sign to mark this occasion of his retirement as well. A uh, gift certificate to Wilson's Tack for the connections. Stonebridge Scout. Oh, uh, yeah, he wants to go. <laughs> He'd want to go one more time, wouldn't he? At 15 years of age, here he is. Congratulations, Stonebridge Scout, on, on your retirement, old boy. It's been a great run since 2011. Again, he won his first career start here. Scott Ray was on board for the pocket ride to victory, owned by Gladys McCarty of London. And, uh, you know... 55 and 3. He was able to win here in London this past season in the Ontario Regional Drivers Championship with Doug McNair on board. So there he is, folks. Thanks so much for coming on out uh, with him down in front following race number three. And he is going to lead our field for the post parade of race number four. Before that, though, uh, let's talk about uh, Stonebridge Scout. Again, he made his first career start for trainer Andy Hardy. With uh, Scott Ray and the Sulky, first start over good track was a winning one. Since then, the uh, now 15-year-old son of Western Maverick from the Camlock Mare, dressed to thrill. And, of course, he sports that Camlock white on the face and around the ankles. From 342 lifetime starts, 28 wins, 42 seconds, 43 thirds. Good for almost $200,000. Career earnings. His richest payday would come back on uh, March 27th of 2012 and winning a 900, make it make it a 9400 dollars event in London with uh, Scott Ray on board again. 158 and four. He'd return four dollars fifty cents to win as a favorite there. A scout paced to his career best mile of 55 and two over Sarnia's 5 eighths track with Ray on board as an eight year old. That occasion he returned 15 10. On the nose, the old boy found his fountain of youth uh, this past season, winning in 155-3 and three over his home track right here in London with Doug McNair catch driving during the Ontario Regional Driving Championship. That was a surprisingly quick win for Scout, but not for the horse players. He paid just $9 to win on that occasion. Owned by Gladys McCarty of London, uh, trained by Robert Mawson over the last 13 months. And again, he missed that uh, final career start, New Year's Eve. So we, the connections have brought him back because the majority of his starts came right here in London as well as his victories. Most times he wouldn't pay a whole lot to win, but there was that one race back in the fall of 2016 where he'd follow up some uh, quick fractions and come on through for an upset as the longest shot on the board right here with Lorne House driving. He paid 98.50 to win on a $2 ticket. Some of you on track may have played him that night six years ago. Uh, January 1st, Stonebridge Scout celebrated his 15th birthday. That is mandatory retirement age for the Standard Breds in Ontario. And again, we are happy to have him with us tonight here in London where it all began for him. Best of luck and congratulations on a job well done.